In this video, we will see how to configure an export rule to export our bill of materials to an XML file automatically by implementing that rule into our workflow. So the data import and export rules are a PDM professional feature only. We can use this feature to automatically generate XML files outside of our vault to a separate location that maybe an ERP or PLM system could read from. So the first step is to set up our export rule, which we can see here. Then we will implement that rule into our workflow. And lastly, we can run a file through the workflow to test the output. To create a new export rule, navigate to the admin tool where we will see the data import and export node. This is where we can create export rules, import rules, and variable alias sets. But for today, we'll be focusing on export rules. So go ahead and right click on export rules and choose new rule. For today's example, I already have one created, so we can go ahead and see what this would look like. So the first step is to give your rule a name, such as export to XML or whatever you would like. Next, we'll set that output file location. Notice how my output file location is directly on my C drive. This can be directed to a network shared folder so that an outside system could look in that folder and locate this information. So once you've chosen an output destination, choose an output file name We'll just use the source file name.xml. So there are a few more configuration settings, such as choosing which type of bomb you'd like to export, maybe a computed bomb, CAD bomb, or a named bomb. I'll go ahead and choose computed bomb, and I'm going to leave the rest of my settings as default. So we can go ahead and press OK and accept this rule. Now that we've created a rule, let's go ahead and implement this new rule into our workflow. Looking at our workflow here, I'm going to insert this rule into the past approval transition. This way, the workflow will automatically create the XML file after the CAD data has gone through the approval process. We'll select the past approval transition and head on over to the actions tab. Here is where we can add a new action and we'll give it the description automatic data export to XML. We can set our type here to export data to XML. When we change that type, so instead of running for all files, we'll go ahead and choose only run for files with these extensions and we'll choose .sld asm for our assemblies. And then for select export script to use, we can choose which export rule we'd like to use. So in our case, we only have one setup, so we'll choose export to XML, and I can go ahead and press OK to accept this action. I'll press OK again to accept that change to our transition. And again, I'm gonna to wanna to make sure I save the workflow. So I'll come up to the top here. After I've made any changes, I'll make sure to save this here. And now that our rule is in place, let's go test it out by running some data through our workflow. So in my vault, I have an assembly here, and we can see the bill of materials below. The assembly is currently in the under editing state, so we will push it through the workflow to the approved state. Once in the approved state, we can navigate to the PDM bomb exports folder on my C drive to see the output file. So we'll start by sending this through our approval process. So I'll go ahead and right click, send this through my workflow to submit for approval. I'll leave a quick comment here, XML test, and we can notify whoever needs to approve this file. In our case, we can go ahead and just press change state. The file is now in waiting for approval, where again, a manager could approve this, but for this example, we'll just go ahead and move this to past approval. So again, I'll go to change state, and this time past approval. This is the transition where we added that action. So when I press past approval, I'll go ahead and I'll change the state. Again, I'll leave a comment here. And when I press change state, we can now see that the assembly is in the approved state. And if I navigate to that PDM bomb exports folder, I'll notice my top level assembly, that 239, as well as all of the other sub assemblies that were a part of that top level assembly as well. 
So I can see a preview over here of what that XML data would look like. And again, this can be utilized in an ERP or PLM system, somewhere where that system can look in this folder, locate this data, and utilize it. So in this video, we were able to see how to create an export rule that can be implemented into our workflow to automatically generate XML files outside of our vault for use in an outside system. If you like this video, please be sure to check out our YouTube channel.